Hi Sagittarius, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Hello, my finger just pushed out a card. <laughs> it's the three of wands, Sag, Sun, and Aries energy. Well, I like this first card coming out as somebody making some plans to come together, perhaps even literal travel. That's not possible. It's still somebody looking over here on the other side. Could be indicating some long distance energy for some of you. It's a divine number, divine timing, and they're on the wands, which is on the move. You know, the, the energy of love and the movement. Look at all the emotional energy. They're kind of like here under it. Looking over, wanting to come together. And again, there could be some travel here. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Sagittarius, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot Reading. Sagittarius Love Tarot Reading. Sagittarius love reading and as is pretty much always the case your Sagittarius love messages channeled love messages from your person messages from their higher self a reading going into their feelings for you your feelings for them what might you not see coming or what maybe do you need to know what's on everybody's mind is anyone making a move looks like that might be the case Let's take a look at the energy that is coming in, Sagittarius. It's the World card and the King of Pentacles. Okay, somebody is coming in here with commitment on their mind and very interesting. We have the star here within the Three of Wands. It's like all the elements are here. And the star is connecting us to Aquarius and Uranus energy and that's also that energy of somebody coming back in. It's a really healing energy. It's like stars aligning energy and it's also really wish fulfillment. Like what has been, what hope has been getting held on to, you know, it's around renewal. The world card is here again and the, the king of pentacles, the world card, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. It's the last major arcana before you go into the fool, divine number, divine timing. And again, a really strong validation of possibly literal travel could even be re really long distance, maybe even international for some of you. Not for everybody. And maybe not even around actual travel, because I'll tell you what, our King of Pentacles, Virgo ruled by Mercury, is not only wearing... Look, this floral laurel wreath, which is a reunion energy for me. But they have a pentacle. You know, they're coming in here with commitment on their mind. And there's the star again. They're kind of looking over at it. It's time. It's like stars aligning. Fate. Destiny. Controlling what you can. Letting go of what you can't. So the soulmate energy is really strong here today. And is there something around this person in their life, you could say in this world card that need, needs or needed or needs to be complete. It's a life-changing energy. So something like actual a move or travel. Are there other contracts somewhere? I'll tell you what, you know, this is, again, it's like obstacles are cleared. Lessons have been learned. Karmic debts paid. Moving on to the next cycle here. Are you coming with me? I'm even hearing for some of you that could even literally be around travel, Sag. Maybe even world travel. That's goosebumpy. That's not for everyone, but I know it's for somebody here. Just the way the message came out, it, it, it came in loud and clear. The victory energy here, yeah, really wanting. There's something here. Here's the thing, the life-changing energy in the world card. It's, it's really valid here and validated and clear for me that this is somebody coming back in and there's some life-changing decisions I feel like that might be getting made around both of you and we could be looking at things like marriage major travel perhaps just travel in that energy of a relationship together taking a journey or retaking a journey like coming back together energy 
littles. Yeah, it's getting closer to soulmate energy, true purpose energy. Okay, Sagittarius, thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. This is a <laughs> this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. So thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. Sag, we have the Emperor. We have the Ten of Cups coming in the partnership placement. This is somebody who wants to go on this journey together with you. Again, travel energy is strong, maybe even around a particular family event. You could see them out, but it's in the partnership placement. Ten of Cups, Mars, and Pisces energy. Had you built a life together, were you building it wasn't on the table? This person literally looks crossing over here, heading right here for this new cycle. Life together. Were you in it? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's on the table today. It's one of those readings. The Emperor is also here. Mars and Aries energy. Upright energy. I like this. Divine masculine energy. Of course, all the elements. And our Emperor of course, is in the balanced energy here, the yin yang energy, and the emperor is connected to the root chakra. When that is balanced and centered, there, there really is not a lot of fear in making things happen, making decisions, to stronger decision making, you know, assertive, and, and not in shadow, ego, or fear, perhaps, where this person may have been. This isn't an energy of not being in that. It's not being afraid to make decisions. And also seeing the world, seeing the future, making decisions for the future, like not being afraid of it, and unblocking a lot of what's been blocked around chakras and communication and perhaps self-awareness and lack of movement, what's been going on here, because the emperor is making it happen. The Emperor, yeah, is heading your way. Again, this is not about that particular energy, although it could be for some of you that you're dealing with an Aries. It's just about the energy of the Emperor, who clearly, in that world card, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups, wants to come together. So whether you were on your way to some long-term commitment, you were already building it. This is about traveling together. What is it? It's here. And your reading is just coming in really, really fast. I just feel like I need to say a few things. <laughs> All your playlists are linked below. Sagittarius, your Sagittarius Zodiac readings connected to today's reading. You'll find all 12. Look, the higher font is in in the on the bottom of the deck in the upright so we're going to continue on with more in just a moment you will also find all signs tarot readings collective love readings those are every day every other day you just never really know if you're on a twin flame journey there are very long in depth twin flame readings as well so feel free to check any of those out it's a timeless reading you're here when you're meant to be here it's a general tarot reading, so always take what resonates and let the rest go. Look at your reading here. The death card right below the emperor. Come in here out of this ego, which is, that's the energy of the emperor in the upper right here. Not in their ego. This is somebody coming in a much higher vibe. Okay, I want to get into this. So I think that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, find all those playlists there. It's a general tarot reading. Take what resonates. Let the rest go. If it's not your reading, it's not. It's okay. <laughs> you know, that's how it is. Thank you for liking today's video, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. If you haven't, I really appreciate it. Okay, so before I get this energy in, I just wanted to tell you the hangman, Pisces energy. Look at this major arcana action, the Hierophant, the hangman, the death card, the emperor. This is obviously where things have been. You know, there's been an indecisive energy. It's been kind of an only time will tell energy and there have been some power struggles. This person has been in some ego. It's, there's still, it's not an egotistical person per se, but there is a strong energy around this person. But they're getting out of that side of the ego, I guess you could say that doesn't serve. You know, they're coming here and into a higher self energy. It's really strong. When you get out of the hangman energy, you go into the death card. 
paradigm shifts. You make some major changes. So it's both around, there we go again, this person, how far back does it go? Some of you, it might not be that far. Some of you, it could be further. But coming in in a really different vibe, a higher vibe, second chance energy for sure. But I don't even know that they're asking. It's like they're just coming in. And is there something else that has needed to change, transform, and in order for this to begin? Is it just around their ego? Is it around something in their life? Because we could be looking at external things like other contracts, relationships. The Hierophant can oftentimes be connected to expectations, conformity, like somebody who is sort of going about things in a really specific way either just even that they expect of themselves or that there are other people like family of origin or you could be looking at, you know, we could be going back into ancestor energy. But whatever the case is, that is here. So something going on with those commitments. This is a card of commitments, the Hierophant. It's more divine masculine energy. It's Taurus energy. It's a card of commitments, contracts, partnerships, relationships, slow moving, but long term, also telling me that, yeah, there's been issues, there's been, it's been a strong period of uncertainty, what can I say? You can see two people here, beaks are not open, <laughs> it's not talking, but facing each other. And there's also that moder moderation energy here too. It's definitely, so we could even be looking out for some of you if you're in a type of connection where you would seek some kind of outward help or perhaps maybe that's where you're heading. In any case, this is around commitment and it is around somebody who's in a very different energy. Something's wanting to reveal here, the Ace of Wands. Aries. Leo and Sagittarius, you're here. Yeah, they're getting the urge. They're getting inspired. They're getting ready to make a move. There's three feathers here. Feather is here. An angel is near. There are three. It's divine number, divine timing. And it's interesting because it's like, are those feathers? You know, it's kind of came from the clouds, but that is that energy. And it, they're above it. They're above indecision. They're above maybe even some bad decisions, what went on here, but they're definitely above indecision. Is this, is this New York? Is this Seattle? Where is that? Hello, by the way. <laughs> That's you. In any case, they're on the wand, the energy of love, the movement here, the action, getting ready to take some action. It's really clear. I mean, this is our emperor. And who's also on this sword, it's clarity, transactional energy. It's, you know, an intellectual kind of energy, logical, rational, like thinking clearly. And yeah, what they want, 10 of cups, three of wands, what they're doing here. Yeah. Speaking of clarity, seven of cups in reverse, Venus and Scorpio energy, getting out of whatever commitment issues have been going on. So the reversal energy is coming to their senses, like they know what they want. It's clearly you. Is this your reading? Because this is what's going on here today. It's clearly you. What, what are some of the things in that world card we saw that perhaps are some changes that they have been afraid to make? Is it moving? Is it leaving a job? What is it? What have the other commitments been? Because it is telling me that this is somebody who's had still coming out of commitment issues, other choices. It could be romantic, but we could be looking at other things too, like, again, family of origin, other people in their head, you know, cultural, religious differences, social status, you got to do it this way. A jobs, in particular too, just connecting with our emperor today, an overworking energy, the emperor, you know, can sometimes be a male figure, doesn't mean that it is, this is not about gender and tarot, but like holding down corporations or anybody really, just that energy of just being in charge, you know, assertive, likes to get what they want kind of energy. So we could even be looking at somebody who was just putting way more time and effort into work and money and being successful and putting matters of the heart aside, whatever the case is, whatever this commitment energy is and whatever needed or needs to end, here in the death card, aside from their ego, is what is going on here. 
life-changing decisions being made, I feel, around this person, and I do feel life-changing decisions between the two of you. Seven of Cups in reverse. Again, that's the clarity, knowing what they want. Next level, Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, knowing what they want to say here. There's a lot to say here. Look at this, and it's catty corner with the Three of Wands. Libra and Mercury energy. Libra is connected to infinity, truth, balance, renewal. Can't get here fast enough to say what they have to say. Finally out of their ego. There is an apology here too. I just want to be clear that it's some of maybe what's kept things longer. I think there's other bigger things going on. There's definitely timing energy. So I don't know, somebody ready, somebody not, somebody available, somebody not. But there is also an apology that they've been having a hard time making. And that's connected to some of the ego and the communication. So it's like, okay, I'm out. I'm ready. I'm out of my ego. I'm ready to make it. <laughs> Knight of Swords, the death card. Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, next level energy. Again, what is that for you right here, connecting with the, with the Hierophant? Going exclusive, talking again, just for some of you, seeing each other, moving in, marriage. What's going on? We saw life-changing decisions, which can be connecting and the Hierophant to marriage, to littles, to family energy. We have the Ten of Cups here, also that connection. So yeah, <laughs> do I feel like there's another level coming in here? I do. There's the moon coming in the upright, the nine of wands. I want to bring in a little bit more too. But before I do, the moon energy, Pisces energy, another major arcana. Also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. What's being revealed here? Because... This is where you are before you go into the sun. It's things hidden. I do think this person has been hiding some truths about feelings. You know, what's going on in that seven of cups? What was going on in that seven of cups? What are all the things they've been holding back to say that they want to say now aside from an apology? It is picking up the pace, the nine of wands. That's your energy. The moon in Sagittarius. And again, that's the moon energy, which we also have literally here. The moon ruling the tide, the emotions, the subconscious energy. So the stuff that maybe they've even kind of hidden from themselves and getting clarity for sure. Getting perspective. Yeah. Getting out of ego. Yes. So there's a, the pickup energy, you could say, in the nine of wands. It, it really is a kind of persistent, like this is somebody who's knowing what they want to do here. In fact, look at our nine of wands today. Four of the wands are like sectioned off with a floral laurel wreath. That's reunion energy. And interestingly, three of them are closer. This one, the three of wands, then there's the fourth wand. So if you can see this person, also really strong validation with the ten of cups. If there's an event, a family event or a friend event or something like that, that you think they're going to be at, they know they're, you know they're going to be at, they could be at, that's definitely here. And there, there is that energy too, should that be the case of, you know, this Nine of Wands energy too, of, of you kind of going, yeah, wait a minute, you know, because the Nine of Wands right below that is the Eight of Wands, and that's communication. And that's also your energy, Mercury and Sagittarius. So it's like holding on to this Ninth Wand, you know, maybe at this event, and they're wanting to communicate, and you're just kind of like, yeah, wait a minute, or, or ignoring them, or that kind of energy. If it's not possible to see them, you know, it's still communication. And that's the other thing there. We have our floor laurel wreath here also across the Ten of Cups. Obviously a very hopeful energy around family energy, but that's going to be really different for everybody. Had you built a life, were you building it? Was it on the table? can also be around blending families, introducing families, you know. The apology is also still here. <laughs> so if, again, it really is, if you can see them, it's like happening around other people. But the communication for sure. And what I wanted to finish saying, and there's just so many messages coming through, Sag, 
is three of those wands are together and when you see that here and then that's like the fourth wand is also wrapped around with this floral laurel wreath a little bit more separate so it's almost like traveling too again the four of wands energy venus and aries of like a homecoming around family and friends reunion again really super validating and strong if you can see the the, the person coming through here today that they're going to be at that event if not, it's still this energy of reunion energy, like coming together, celebratory energy, communicating. They definitely have a lot to say. They're, they're saying it. There's some energy. There's some power kind of, I guess you could say, behind this person. But not necessarily like an arrogant person per se. But there, there's definitely a, I don't know, yeah, self-assured kind of energy around it. So we're in a bottoms up energy because I just want to bring in some more. We're looking at the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the King of Wands. So both here, the Sun, Page of Cups in reverse, Eight of Wands. Is this done yet? Ten of Swords in reverse? Five of Pentacles in reverse? No, it is now. Look, this is what wanted to be revealed. There is that Four of Wands. It's here. Talking here. Maybe more than talking. <laughs> There's a lot of healing energy. The bird bath, you know, sustenance and, and water, emotions, the love, healing. There's lotus flowers there. And again, it's reunion energy. So much energy incoming. This can be considered a marriage card. Do I think somebody's coming here with a with a ring or something? No, but some of you may have been connected in that way, and that that definitely might be something here that was not materializing or something happened. In any case, it is a reunion energy. So super super validating if it's in person. I know it's not for everyone, but it is still coming together energy. I mean, just look at the three of wands, the four of wands. There's the communication. The sun is here. Ten of pentacles. Yeah, this is also not surprising. Mercury and Virgo energy. Ten of cups. Look at this. Had you built a life together? Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's on the table for sure around this person. It's just not even a question for me. There's a lot of healing energy in here. So again, it's either for some of you, it might be going back into where you were or continuing on at the very least, putting it back on the table. So the Queen of Wands and I believe, yeah, the King of Wands is here. And what's interesting is the Sun is also here. Really strong validation also of the intensity, I want to say, between the two of you. We have the Divine Feminine energy around the Queen of Wands and the Divine Masculine energy around the King of Wands. And of course, our King connecting here to our Emperor energy and making this move. I mean, look, there's the wand. There's a rose coming off an offer. We have on the other side, the Queen of Wands and you're, you're both kind of showing up here. Of course, around the confidence in the move that they're making. So in the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy here in our King of Queen of Wands, it's a validation that this person is on the move. It's also telling me that you're both here, definitely, <laughs> and that there are two pretty intense energies. But I want to say also your, gosh, how do I put this? Your chemistry is really high Sagittarius. There's a lot of chemistry between you that sometimes overwhelms each other. And I really, the emperor, the emperor is the emperor, right? I mean, we know what the emperor, that energy can be intense and demanding and assertive and all that. I don't always get really super strong like this is, you know, coming energy, but that, I'm, I'm coming in here energy. Hmm. <laughs> but... I'm getting that energy here today. It's strong. And by the way, the sun, of course, and the moon is here. The sun and the moon is here. And that's the yin and the yang energy. The subconscious, the conscious, dark to light. What's been hidden is being revealed. The luminary and the sun energy. 
the new cycle, working things out, the potential here for things to work out, like a chance for things to work out, but a lot of things being revealed. Hello. Oh, that camera makes me crazy. <laughs> I always think I'm on top of it, and then I look and I'm talking to myself. What I was saying is the moon and the sun energy here and the luminary energy, the, the subconscious and the conscious. So the conscious energy, of course, shining on the subconscious energy, the moon, and just illuminating everything, what needs to be seen. Well, emotions, this particular horse here, this white horse. And what I wanted to say is whatever was going on with the commitment energy in the Seven of Cups, which is now in reverse, a lot of this is a lot of things that they had to say around feelings and commitment that they held back. Now they're coming in here, like something changed, something cracked open. Again, getting out of the hangman, going into the death card, all being really led here by our emperor energy. And again, this this sun and moon energy, actually, I want to put it here. Dark to light, the revealing energy, the, the potential, the new cycle in the sun. The sun is connected to the solar plexus chakra, I do. And the moon is connected to the third eye chakra, the self-awareness. I see, I do. I know what I, I did. I know what I need to do. I know what I want is really strong here today, <laughs> I just have to say. Page of Pentacles, kind of like in the energy that they're, they're already sort of jumping forward out of that. But this is, look, the reunion energy above. Our page, like, mesmerized by the Pentacle. There is also the apology, again, so, like, figuring out how to get that in and to get the communication going, the Six of Swords, Mercury and Aquarius energy, because you have, yeah, it's no contact, no communication and or in separation, or perhaps there's been just some complications around communicating with someone. Maybe you are seeing them. In any case, that's like it's time, the Six of Swords. It's like everybody's the separation, the two parties, <laughs> the two of you, whether you're just not talking and or not seeing each other, it's like coming together and communicating. Page of Cups is in reverse. It's connecting here with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. It really is more about the past energy of commitment for me, this reversal energy, because it's somebody who, yeah, I don't know, emotionally, it's been coming through really strong, emotionally holding back maybe afraid of all the feelings that they have, that it was more than just physical too for some of you because the physical connection is also really strong. So it really is connected to the past energy, but a little bit of this too, like trying to come in, how to, they've been trying to figure it out. The emperor is, is cracking the code. <laughs> Put it that way. The emperor, the sun, getting out of the hangman. Eight of wands. This communication, again, Mercury and Sagittarius energy. There is an apology here. It's your energy, Sagittarius. It's what you want to hear. Eight, of course, is an action number. It's also connected to karma. Could be something around their past, but also there is a need to make things right for sure. There's an apo It's coming right with an apology. Ten of swords in reverse, the sun in Gemini. The sun here in this energy is in reverse. It doesn't stay there. It's like temporary. And you can see that it's in the upright. So a lot of things being revealed here. The apology is not, I feel like the main thing that's going on around this person, but it is here. Again, that's, will you forgive me energy? You know, can we... Can we start again? New cycle, clean slate energy. And it's coming with the five of pentacles in reverse, Mercury and Taurus energy, which again is the Mercury energy. And the five of pentacles is a card of loss. You know, it's worry, like what they lost. Five of pentacles in reverse is like coming back for what they lost, like retrieving what they lost. Look, the apology is right here connecting with the Three of Wands. So that's definitely coming, but there's more than that. Conversation for sure, whether it's via message, social media, email, or in person. For a lot of you, it's in person. I know that's not for everybody. But this apology, this communication, 
all around the past, but also the possibilities for the future. And going back into that 10 of pentacles, if you had been there or you were building it or putting it at least back on the table. Yeah, it's a coming back for what they lost. Confidence to do that. The Queen of Wands, the Seven of, of Cups in reverse. Getting clarity, knowing. I want to bring in some Oracle Sagittarius. I'm not reading it in reverse. Let's see if there's anything else coming through. Yeah, just the more I look at this, it just really is. There is a, there's definitely an apology here. I mean, that's not even a question. I have to say though, <laughs> like they're getting into that energy of making the move, but there is still a little bit of that, yeah, I don't know, like holding, holding it back a little bit. A tough nut to crack kind of energy. That, yeah, it's really matter of fact for, but not, not definitely not wanting to lose you. Not wanting to lose either. What is that about? Is there something else around it? Other people? Could be around your side too. Okay. Wanting to win you back. That victory energy is something that I just keep hearing. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Sagittarius. Aho. Sphinx. Feather. The flag, devotion. <laughs> it's kind of like crying uncle. Yeah, because this person's having a little bit of a hard time with that. The feather connecting us to... Well, a feather is here, an angel is near energy. You know, the spiritual, spiritually being pulled together. Also, it's right here on the higher font. It's also connecting to the star, which has been in a lot of the energy today. Aquarius and Uranus energy, like hopeful energy for renewal. A healing energy as well. A timing, like this person coming back in energy, but that a validation that there's been... I guess you could say a cooling off period, but there's definitely the affinity, like the pull toward. And having faith, and and you could say the wishes in that star energy, the possibility still of things working out. The Sphinx here, yeah, look at this ship. Whoop, I just put one down. I guess that wasn't meant to be yours. Reciprocity, here we go. Yeah, I mean, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. The communication to the sun, ace of pentacles, the hierophant, ace of wands, the emperor. This is somebody coming in with, with the apology, but with commitment. Look, Ram leadership, here they come. <laughs> Cardinal sign. Yeah, this is a really strong validation of making this happen. And look where it came, it, or look what it came with. It came with ship exploration as well. The Sphinx is here, which connects me directly to the chariot. Understanding, like knowing the answer to the riddle to get the Sphinx moving, to get the chariot moving, to take some action for things to change. You come right out of the lover's card when you get into the chariot. You come and make that move. You've got the rose, you've got the courage. I mean, they're not just trying to get it. They have it here. And this is also connecting with the High Priestess energy. Divine Feminine, Cancer energy. And interesting because that connects us right here with the Hierophant, the counterpart. So both the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy balance around commitment around this person of knowing and also the spiritual connection. But also telling me that the two of you are here. It's not about gender, but it really is where do we go from here? But it's requiring the action I feel, and again, it's not about gender, but of the emperor energy, of the apology and of the movement. I don't know. There's the hangman energy. Feels like it's been going on for a while. Like only time will tell. You know, indecision, nobody really making moves. And there needs to be paradigm shifts around this person, like some things being done differently. There you go, out, death card. And what else? You know, we saw that coming in also with the world card, some kind of life 
changing decisions that they've been needing to make. And it really is a where do we go from here? Ship exploration. Both of you on this boat, on the water, it's emotional. It's, it's on the move. It's powered by the wind, which is communication. That's air energy. It's clarity. It's conversations. It's whether it's in person at, at whatever event or party or via online or messages, phone calls, text messages, whatever. Where do we go from here? The Empress, excuse me. Oh, that's interesting. The High Priestess and the Hierophant energy. And here in the ship, ship exploration and the communication. And it's on the water. You know, that's emotional and it's around the love. And it's also around the timing. It's the divine energy. This is already, this is hanging off. I love you. I love you and haven't let you go. Okay. I was actually going for this deck, but that was, that wanted to be yours. Those are yours. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Yeah, there's three here. Every road leads back to you. Right here with our Ace of Wands. I was a complete jerk. Mm -hmm. And the message and the Five of Pentacles coming back for what they lost. Also that Ton of Swords and Reverse Energy, the Apology. I have a song playlist for us. I almost feel like it's somebody who, yeah, is like really proud of their music collection. Kind of like plays music, like it's a big part of, of what they send or what you guys talk about or I don't know, just strong connection to music here. I'm literally seeing like exchanges. You are my other half. I love you and I haven't let you go. So the emperor, the other half is the empress energy. And we of course have the hierophant and the high priestess energy here. I feel so guilty. I was a complete jerk. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. Okay. Pride and ego, definitely. Shadow, that's been here. Not an egotistical person, again, it's not about gender either, just, but some intensity around that. I don't know, maybe it's a needing to be right thing. I love you more than I have found a way to say because that emperor has also been holding some of that back. This is far from over. You are my other half, you are my other half. So the telepathic energy. Yeah. The high priestess and the hierophant. There's so much left unsaid. Yeah, it's right here, the King of Wands. Ready to say it, Knight of Wands, the moon revealing. I wanna talk again. Yeah, I mean, it's just super, super clear and validating. Did you notice I sent a message? So there could be, it could have been that there was some messages, maybe that got deleted or unsent kind of energy. I am so sorry. Actually, okay, I think I'm going to bring in this deck and see if there's anything that wants to come in. Yeah, those are yours. That's it. I'm so sorry again. Is there a response or is it a validation? Give them an inch, they take a mile, this one. <laughs> just Let's bring in another deck. Okay, let's just take over the reading. My secret addiction is you, Sagittarius. I love you more than I found a way to say. I love you more than I found a way to say. So really validating perhaps some of that telepathic energy going on. I just can't sleep because I keep thinking about you. That's the Nine of Swords. I spy on you, Page of Swords energy, which is not here. I don't know why I thought it was here, but it's here. This is what this is. 
So if you're connected via social media, it's like looking. Some of you are definitely connect connected via other friends and family, so it could even just be talking to other people or maybe looking through their social media. It's so hard not being in contact. I was a complete jerk as a coming here again. I am so drawn to you. That's the star energy. Look where the reciprocity is too, by the way. It's right here with the Four of Wands. Again, I don't think somebody's walking in here with a ring, but this can be around a marriage energy. And there's the affinity. I'm so drawn to you. I, I forgive you. Are you forgiving them? Because there is definitely a conversation here. I, I, sometimes I feel like I'm a third party, and I definitely feel like that. This energy today is like, they, you know, okay, I don't know. Just I definitely feel like very much just the messenger today. I don't want to lose you forever. Like getting out of their way. Yes, I think of you a lot too. Did you notice I sent a message? Did you notice I sent a message? Okay. I made a wrong decision. Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self coming in. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I like that it's ending on an apology because, look right here with I'm so sorry and I love you more than I have found a way to say. Because I've been feeling like we have to like pull it out of them. It's there. It just hasn't been as easy as it could be. Beautiful Sagittarius, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. If you want to access any of the playlists, your readings, the love tarots, the all signs tarot, twin flame readings, whatever. They're all linked in the description of today's video, as well as on the playlist tab here at the Tarot Closet. Thank you for liking today's video, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you love as always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Sagittarius.